Hey everybody, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today I'm going to show you how to change the layout uh, and change what's over on this left side of Microsoft Teams. These these five you know tabs that you've got here by default. Here you got Activity, Chat, Teams, Calls, and Files, and those are what's there by default. But they don't have to stay there. They don't have to stay in that order. And you can add additional ones uh, that you that you want. So if you want to change the way these are laid out, just click and drag them. It's pretty simple. You just drag where you want them to be, and they will typically stay right there. And you can put them back where you want, or however. If you want to remove something, it's as simple as right-clicking uh, on a PC or two-finger clicking on a Mac, and you'll get that option to unpin. And there, it's gone. Now you might notice, let me bring this guy back for a moment. If you've got the tab selected, and you right-click to unpin, uh, it'll move down to the bottom. To tell you that to indicate that it's that it's present right there because you're using it, but it's not pinned. The other way you could tell if an element is pinned is by looking at the title. Uh, files in this case is in italics, and that means it's being used, but it's not pinned. So if I click away from it, I know it's going to disappear. Uh, if you want to add something back, it's as simple as just clicking on it from that sub menu uh, that's indicated by three dots there, clicking and dragging it back over to the bar, and then you can rearrange it again. If you want to add something, say uh, so you want to add an app. So there's a lot of apps available for Teams. If you click on the bottom here for apps, let's say you want to add something like Adobe Creative Cloud so you can share Adobe assets uh, with your team members. Open it up, click on Add, and give it a second to install. And you'll see here on the left side that it's added to your sidebar, but the text, the title is in italics. And if you right-click on it, you'll see that it's not pinned. Uh, it's only showing up right there because it was installed. So if you want it to stay, you've got to pin it. If you don't want it to stay, just unpin and click away from it, and it'll disappear. But it'll still be there under that menu, so you can still access it. But it's something you know you don't need access to constantly, uh, or you just don't want cluttering up your space. You can unpin it and add it there. And to add it back, just drop it in, and it'll automatically pin it when you drag it from that uh, submenu. All right, for Tech Republic, I am Brandon Villarolo. Be sure to stay tuned for more Microsoft Teams tips and tricks just like this one.